So a lot of you guys probably remember back in January slash February of this year where there was a design contest to kind of pick a brand new dark and transcendence version of that dark hero for the upcoming 8th anniversary of Idle Heroes. Kind of crazy the game's still going after all these years, uh, but I'm happy to see it at the same time. Now today we got something special. We actually get to see DH Games' uh, take on the regular version, the dark version of the hero, and I don't think we've seen anything yet on the Transcendence version, plus we have a little bit of an interview, it seems like, with the designer of this hero, so maybe we get a little more insight to the actual design goals of this hero. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let's check out this new hero, which actually... Don't know if it even has a name yet. So if you don't remember, this was the winner announcement in very, very late February, I believe. The winner gets a bunch of extra resources. I think they get a free copy. And this was uh, pretty heavily voted as like the winner these were like what the top one two three four five yeah top ten right here and this one had an overwhelming victory getting a free copy of the hero and this was essentially the original design the ai era origin twins which was like the dark version and then it was like the ai universe master infinite so i'm sure these names are not going to stick but this is essentially what they designed for the original version of the hero and then the transcendence version so we'll have to see how it plays out but first let's talk about this little interview thing because yes we have the eighth anniversary coming up for those of you guys who don't know we're just over a month away from the eighth anniversary event which are usually some of the best events in the idol heroes season the year whatever you want to call it uh and it's coming up very very soon so you also notice here we already had the design contest and now we have the interview so now we have event three and event four so there's two Two more things coming along that we'll have to see how they turn out but it says today let's invited to this idol heroes eighth anniversary celebration hero uh best works of the creator say hello hello idlers i am from free to play world guild named zzzzz although it is called free to play guild i'm um, still i can't help but paying a little bit yeah i was gonna say everybody who ever puts like free to play in their name usually still spends or makes it a meme something like that so it says very welcome first of all congratulations on winning the best work award and its first work in both domestic and international votes uh so yeah i think they tallied up both the chinese and the worldwide votes and combined them which is interesting because last year that was a kind of issue the unanimous recognition is well deserved like we saw in that like hands down had the most votes uh, and ZZZZ says first I was incredulous and then I was excited after all I went into it with the intention of trying out knowing that the character would be made if it was chosen and I was really excited to be able to play the character that I have designed in my favorite game uh, says your work's very impressive in terms of completion and design ideas do you work as an artist or a designer and actually ZZZ says yes I work in the character design field but i'm still very excited man using your talents for good i don't like it cheating no just kidding uh so i've met a professional artist Ooh, <laughs> i'd also like to know when you started playing idol heroes and what attracted you to the game uh, i was recommended by a friend in august last year the first thing that attracted me first was the art of idol heroes which i gotta agree it's a very unique art style you can't find it really anywhere else on the market some of the designs and art of the heroes were very consistent with my aesthetic after all i am also doing art then again in the gameplay idle games for office workers is more is very friendly yeah that's that's very true i think most of us are full-time job workers we don't really have time for our mmos or arpgs and all this stuff anymore so we try to find a game that we can have fun with like 15 20 minutes a day and then move on so that's really cool uh idle gameplay is our specialty yes it is uh let's is also curious in the creation of the work why and wh or why did you choose ai and other such elements so this is where his actual and kind of like i guessed his his inspiration came from because these two years is just the time when artificial intelligence began to be used in large quantities in the business especially in the game art industry but also the beginning of the era of data at the same time i think the design of the anniversary hero should be the same to commemorate it in the game art industry this year the most representative and subversive should be the ai so i choose the theme of ai for the eighth anniversary and perhaps when i look back on this character in a few years i can think about uh, 
the year when AI began to emerge. It's very true because even like me with like my Photoshop stuff, there's so much work with it. So it says, based on this work, our art colleagues have completed the initial adjustments. And here is what we can expect from the eighth anniversary hero. Alakita, I guess is going to be the name. We have a better image here in a second, so I'll show you that one. This is quietly. I don't know how you feel about the current adjustment and optimizations or whether you like it or not. Of course, this is also, uh, or there's also a final merge transcendence version coming in June. Uh, very satisfied after optimization. It's more humanized and stylized, and it's closer to the overall style of Idol Heroes game, and it's improved the overall handsomeness <laughs> in terms of movement. Uh, and the AI sisters did the overall color differential uh, to strengthen the overall richness of the character. Hair also strengthened the data. So, yeah, it's really, really cool how they designed it. Uh, but basically, yeah, it's favorite game. Hopefully we can get some stuff. Yeah, hopefully we can get an SSS copy of it too. So here's like the best artwork I could find of it. And honestly, it looks pretty sick. So let's just compare real quick. So it went from this right here, which they almost felt like DJ sisters, like they're, they're disc jockeys, you know. But now they feel like straight out of like Tron and I absolutely love it. I don't know you guys, I love the art style, especially of the newer Tron movie that came out. Uh, and this just looks really, really cool. But I think they messed up on the stars. <laughs> I think. Hold on. Uh, this looks dead. I think it's supposed to be five star, six star, ten star. But they, they kind of, they, they had the, they have them backwards essentially. Uh, but this hero looks absolutely badass. I can't wait to try this hero. And I hope they make this hero overpowered AF. Because let's be honest, we're getting tired of all these stale heroes. Granted, it is a dark hero. It's not like when you can build on an early new game account. Uh, but maybe an anniversary weekend. Maybe if it's a good and easy way to build the hero, we try them out as first E5. I don't know. We'll have to see. Now, the only other thing to discuss is what is this character going to be? We already have a ranger, priest, warrior, mage, assassin. And then it goes back to ranger. So we have ranger, ranger, priest, priest, warrior, warrior, mage, mage, assassin, assassin. And then before that, we had warrior, mage, assassin. I feel like this is going to be a ranger hero. We just had a ranger hero too. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Wait a minute. We had a ranger back here too. So we already had a ranger. We had a warrior and a mage. That only leaves priest and assassin. I mean, this feels like it's the year of the assassin right now because we've already got quite a couple really good assassins. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm putting my money on this is going to be an assassin dark hero. And honestly, this definitely fits the assassin type aesthetic, at least for me it does so what do you guys think do you think this hero could be absolutely busted strong uh now traditionally assassins as a non-transcendence hero have been pretty garbage overall usefulness wise unless they're more of a support hero maybe we finally change the mold and it gets really really good we'll have to see hopefully you guys enjoy this and make sure you guys take one second hit that subscribe button. what do you think about this hero Z Z Z Z. Did an awesome job. Yeah, I had enough Z's in there. You did an awesome job on this, and then they translated this perfectly over to a very idle hero's feeling. So, really, really cool. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.